Okay, another link is in this simulation is uh, gear, rack and pinion, and pulley. This is an all with this is a combined uh, as you can see, this is an um, gear. As you can see, these two gear are uh, in each other, and you can use the gear. And this is an uh, pulley. This is an pulley if you select and start simulation <clears throat> as you can see this is a pulley uh, this motor can rotate and with a pulley link you can rotate another object there but in most of the time uh, it will be need a very very complex seating and you have to know them sometimes does not uh, do correctly you can do such a this complex thing with simply with a collision you can do everything any complex simulation with a collision it's in a real world collision base <clears throat> uh, but the pulley is not does not at the collision base it does not really ro rotate this pulley to rotate that object in a real world but you can do it as a collision but if you have a complex settings you need to more resources for simulation its properties you can in, uh, decrease the number of these and these to uh, better uh, as faster but if you have more powerful system you can give the, this number very uh, small to for example this number to better simulation but as you can see if you start we have a small and better as you can see simulation here and we have some issues here unfortunately but you can do it i don't usually use gear and for example like this gear as you can see we have more complex settings that's it's very you have to experiment with your simulation and your project it's very hard and of course poorly and this is an uh, this isn't this rack and it's an opinion if you start as you can see it has a lot of issues but in this situation you can completely do it with uh, collision base here you can uh, delete the gear as you can see if you play it nothing happened just it's rotate and i want going to the disjoint with this joint this joint is a revolute that has a motor in a speed it's a constant too that i want to as i say, said before sign with amplitude of two phase phase zero and the frequency two it means it's go in a di this direction and then this direction this direction <laughs> this is a sign okay and simply instead of the gear and it is it's complex sitting you can select this enable collision select this enable collision collision and everything is done as you can see we have a nice collision with the gear we don't use any gear links that's awesome another pulley is here as you can see it's very complex that you can use it as a as you can see it does not really rotate it it's just a connection between this motor and this motor if you it, if you rotate it it rotates will be as well as a pulley settings but you can use it as a collision if you want <clears throat> another thing that i want to explain is the solver as you can see if you plate we have an interesting uh, simulation with uh, lots of revolute joint and just we have a one motor here as you can see but if you go to simulation and parameter in a solver here this solver and integrator this is an important solver i want to explain it do not uh, go very mathematical inside the solver it's very simple for example if you the default of the uh, synapse of is a project if you select it in some cases like this it does not act correctly 
if you do everything correct and you you know your mechanical real mechanical object is correct it's very complex but it does not work go simply go here and change the solver do not forget as you can see if i change the solver it will be act correct okay another thing is the solver that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release